So it's been a while since I made a video like this, but I have an opportunity to do a job on this Telecaster that I haven't done for quite a while. Uh, so this is a uh, 52 reissue Telecaster from the Vintage Reissue series. Uh, this is a friend of mine's guitar and has been having a, a bunch of trouble staying in tune, partly because of the saddle situation. These are hard to intonate. And also because uh, he's been playing this guitar for 20 years and never had a fret dress on it. So we're going to do a fret dress. I'm going to show you what that looks like. And let's get to the close-up footage. All right, so here we're looking at the neck. You can tell that my friend likes to play a lot of uh, a lot of D chords and G chords here, um, and A as well. Uh, this is you know the first, second, third, even into the fourth. the The gouges in the in these frets are pretty deep, um, especially on the second fret. And honestly, we are at the point with this guitar where you might, if this were a rosewood board. Um, and it didn't involve a lot of work. You might even just put new frets on these because as you can kind of go along, you can see that there's not very much wear happening elsewhere. But since this has never been done, uh, since we've never had a fret dress on this instrument, um, we are going to, uh, we're going to, we're going to tackle a fret dress probably once. Uh, that'll last him until he needs to do a full fret job. All right, so I'm going to make this part as quick as possible. You can see those frets are really worn in. And it's going to look great when we finish it up. Um, and then here is the, uh, the bridge here, uh, where we are going to be replacing, uh, the saddles in a little bit. And what I'm actually going to do is, uh, where's my finger? There it is. Um, we are going to, I'm going to replace these one by one. So I'm getting them in the proximate place. The other thing I wanted to mention, um, listen, uh, you know, everybody does, uh, every luthier does stuff differently. They measure, they do whatever, but I'm noticing that those screw, those springs are jammed jammed like crazy uh, to the back. So when I put on the new saddles, I'm, I might actually uh, cut some of the spring so that we can actually work with the new saddle in a better place. If I was keeping these saddles, I would actually adjust the spring. So we had a little more room to go in both directions. Um, I'm sure that that is having an effect on the intonation as well. All right, so I threw the, uh, the new saddle on. You can see it right here. And it looks like it's gonna line up pretty well. And despite what that looks like, there's actually a little bit of play in that spring. Um, these springs are a little bit thinner, so they're gonna be fine. So I'm gonna get the rest of these saddles on and then I'm going to prep the neck. So as I can see, this guitar was made in July and August of uh, 2002. All right, so here the neck is prepped. I've got tape on uh, all sides, so only the frets are exposed. And if you see that there's a green color, it's not just because Christmas just happened, but it's because that is actually how I will know that I am hitting all of the spots. So when you... All right, so in the old days, I'd be ready to pull the tape off of this thing. You can see, um, of course, you got to see the nuts, so you can see these first few frets are nice and shiny. And in fact, while this camera is not the best at color, it is certainly good on detail, and you can see there's like a little scuff there, right? There's a little scuff. We're going to take care of that. Um, but yeah, basically we're at the point where, barring any scuffs like that, I'm going to uh, put some polishing compound and buff out these frets for a final polish and then take the tape off and then reassemble the guitar. All right, frets are done. I said I was going to assemble it, but I actually uh, didn't do that there. Look at those. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to um, adjust the nut a little bit. I'll have to take that down once I... Uh, put strings on it, but this guitar uh, had enough fret, uh, frets on it to do a good fret job, uh, fret dressing, and I'm pretty happy with it. So there you go. All right. Well, there you go. No divots. The action might, I might be able to lower it a little bit more. I might do that, but everything's strung up. It is intonated. If we need to lower the action, we could do that. There's some dust that only seems to show up in the... Uh, on this camera. And there's the uh, compensated saddles. Now I should mention that you'll see that the top three strings, the E, B, and G are unwound, and the lower three strings, the D, A, and E are wound. So this particular particular setup works well with the with the compensated saddles sort of going in this direction. So with this with this G going back from the D. Um, there are other setups if you use a heavier gauge string where you're using a, where you're using a wound G um, where you can have a different compensation, but that's the one that I chose. So there you go. All right, so we're back. 
You've seen all the progress in my different camera angles, and this is probably a different cam camera angle than before, and my glasses are off, and it's a mess. But we got this guitar in great shape. Need to stretch out those strings. Um, but we don't have any buzzing any happening anymore. And I'm not a guitar player, so don't expect licks. Don't expect hot licks, people. Um, but the compensated saddles work great. Um, this guitar is ready to go back into the studio, and I appreciate you guys for coming along. Um, obviously, people do fret dresses totally different uh, now. Um, some people do it the way that I do it, uh, especially on a maple neck. Um, some people are going to treat a vintage instrument differently than I do. Uh, this is a, like, a, like, like we discovered in the process, this is a 21 year old guitar and this is the 51 reissue that they made for a, quite a long time. Um, obviously this is the Corona factory, um, but it's a good sounding guitar. Uh, but more importantly now for our purposes, since I'm not, this is not a demo, uh, this is a, uh, it's now a good playing guitar. Uh, and it's, we're not going to have the kind of intonation trouble um, and string stretching that we were having with those gigantic divots. So, uh, link to my website in the comments uh, if you want to reach out to me and have me do this for you, uh, or make a pick guard. Um, and you know, if you're watching on YouTube. Anyways, thanks a lot.